so I'm trying to incorporate it as, as a sort of method in as much of the work as I can, but I think it's really relevant to the people that I work with. And what I like about it the most is the idea that everyone is equal and everyone has something to contribute. And I think that's such an important part of working with people who are underrepresented in research, whether it's ethnic minorities or um, people with disabilities, people with mental health problems, it could be anything. I think one of the things that is difficult for those people in getting involved with health research is they feel like the researchers, the scientists are the ones with the knowledge and the power and and they almost feel like they're not being listened to or they don't have control over where the research is going and what the output's going to be and what the impact's going to be. And so obviously they're not going to want to get involved because they don't have that level of, I guess, agency, whatever you want to call it. There's so many ways you could describe it, I guess. Um, So I think doing more co-production work is a great way to tackle that because if we can show people that, no, you're really valued in this, you're an equal part of this, in a way you know more about this than we do, so we're learning from you, that could be a way of getting more people involved and showing people that we appreciate them. Um, And also representing the voices of the people that we're researching as well, because it it, it should be those voices that we're amplifying and representing. It shouldn't be the voices of the researchers because we get to do that all the time. 